In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was light, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. John chapter 1 verses 1 through 5. Welcome to the Daily Gnosis, where we partake of our daily required value of Jesus. I'm Aldi Elver, hashtag Old Not Sage, and we at Dizzy Angel Multimedia are happy you are here. And we're blessed to be able to post these devotions Sundays through Thursdays by 9 a.m. by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, refers to one of the most profound insights into the nature of Christ as the Logos, the divine word through which all things were made. The passage begins with, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. This scripture establishes the divine nature of Jesus and his role as the bringer of enlightenment to humanity. The concept of the Logos in John's Gospel transcends the simple understanding of words as mere vehicles for communication. Instead, the Logos is presented as the foundational element of all creation. Nothing made was made without it. This introduces the Logos as a cosmic principle of order, reason, and illumination, bringing the divide between the divine and the mundane. All right. The concept of the Logos in John's Gospel transcends the simple understanding of words as mere vehicles for communication. Instead, the Logos is presented as the foundational element of all creation. Nothing made was made without it. This introduces the Logos as a cosmic principle of order, reason, and illumination, bridging the divide between the divine and the mundane. As the living embodiment of the Logos, Jesus' role extends beyond the redemption of sin. He is the illuminator whose teachings and very being cast light upon the shadows of our understanding and misconceptions. Through his words and actions, Jesus clarifies the nature of God, his justice, mercy, and love, and our identities as children of this loving creator. This revelation brings clarity and purpose where there was once confusion and aimlessness and i just wanted to pop in and give you a reminder that we also have uh twice a week we post videos how not to make comics with all and we are currently working on the graphic novel yahweh and the god squad that is going to be taking us a while there's a lot of gnostic goodness in there and it's an exciting adventure we'll uh, join us for that and watch us as we make art and get ready to uh, make some changes in some people's lives in a positive way, I hope. So we'll see you there. That's twice a week. And it's um, how not to make comics with Ald. And it's on this channel. Love y'all. The passage in John also states, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. This metaphor speaks vividly to the enduring and invincible nature of Jesus' message. Despite the attempts to suppress or distort his teachings, the truth of the Logos persists, offering guidance and enlightenment to all who seek it. It is a testament to the power of divine truth to withstand the test of time, persecution, and misunderstanding. To live in the light of the Logos means to embrace Jesus' teachings in a way that shapes our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It involves consciously aligning our thoughts, actions, and purposes with the divine order and wisdom that Jesus embodies. This this alignment enhances our spiritual enlightenment and enables us to become beacons of light in a world that often wanders in the shadows of ignorance and confusion. John chapter 1, 1 through 5 is not just a theological statement about the nature of Christ. It is an invitation to experience life in its most entire clarity and purpose through the enlightenment that Jesus, the divine Logos, provides. As we delve deeper into his teachings, let us strive to embody the light of the Logos, illuminating our paths and those of others towards greater understanding and communion with God. Brothers and sisters, as we go about our day, let us be of service to others and help God to ease their journey. 
Always remember that God, Jesus, Allah, Muhammad, the Aeons, Archons, and Angels all love you. And as your friend, I'm here to remind you that I love you too. Eat when you're hungry, sleep when you're tired, talk to God daily, and love continuously. Until we meet again, may your hearts be filled with joy, your spirits uplifted, and your souls nourished by the eternal wisdom of the divine.